weather 12 forecast. It is 5.16 in the morning and we are looking at another warm and humid September day and another one follows for Thursday. In fact, the worst of the humidity is going to be tomorrow. Let's take a look at the current conditions outside this morning. Not as cool out there, but visibility is better in North Situate this morning as well as in the Newport area. As we look out over the Newport Bridge, you can clearly make out all of the bridge. So we're seeing for miles outside right now. It's warm and muggy leading our three key things. Best shot for showers this week comes tomorrow. In fact, we'll see mainly scattered showers, especially at the end of the day and into Thursday night. And then behind that turns cooler for Friday and the weekend. Right now, we're warmer than normal. Middle and upper 60s, New Bedford, Westerly, Providence at 66 and 63 degrees in Smithfield. Unfortunately, that muggy meter is headed up. Over the course of the day today, the humidity will rise. And as I mentioned, it really peaks on Thursday. Once a cold front comes through, the humidity will really drop off for a couple of days, Friday into Saturday before climbing back up for Sunday ahead of another round of showers. Outside right now, there's no showers on our live Doppler radar, none expected for the day today. But what we will see today is more cloud cover around, especially the coastline. We're going to call for mostly cloudy skies, winds from the southeast light at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And we've got temperatures in the mid to upper 70s at the shoreline. As you get further inland, upper 70s to lower 80s, especially where we can break into a little bit of hazy sun. So we're going to call for partial sunshine, places like Winsocket and Burrowville, even Covington you can see a little bit of limited sun West Warwick as well, and we'll call for a partly mostly cloudy afternoon in Attleboro and Seekonk, mainly cloudy skies in New Bedford, low 80s Westport near 79 degrees. So not much sun at the beaches, but you'll get a few rays here and there. Fog this morning has been very limited. Otherwise, our air temperature at 77 degrees and the visibility at the moment is pretty good out on the bay. And that will continue as we move through the day. So mostly cloudy, high tide 112 in the afternoon, low tides at 6 this morning, about an hour away. For your evening hours, the clouds hang around, see, seeing some potential for some fog and drizzle during the night and into early tomorrow morning. So we are keeping an eye on this little wave off of the Carolina coastline. Not very impressive at the moment. You can see that frontal system stalled out to the south of us, delivering a lot of showers. It's actually this front that's to the north that today is stalled out that will eventually bring us some cooler air but also bring us some showers before that cool down happens. Here's the timing of it all. This is at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Partly to mostly cloudy skies, upper 70s to lower 80s. Dry at 6 o'clock this evening, but an abundance of clouds around, and that continues overnight. By the time you wake up tomorrow morning, a little drizzle or sprinkles here and there. Low 70s at 6 a.m. Notice those showers in noontime, mostly to the west of us. Shower chances going up towards the end of the day and evening and continuing into Thursday night. Still keeping an eye on two name systems in the Atlantic. Paulette is still a tropical storm, but at the moment, Renee has uh, weakened some to a tropical depression. The forecast still calls for that to strengthen and potentially becoming a hurricane by the weekend. Meanwhile, this is Paulette's track, and you can see it uh, potentially approaching towards the Bermuda area by early next week. So we'll be keeping an eye on the those storms, nothing in the short term as far as any land impacts expected from them. Seven day forecast. So showers on Thursday that'll clear out on Friday with cooler temperatures returning. Saturday looks dry and cool fall like at 72 for the high, a little warmer Sunday, and it comes with the chance for some showers by the late afternoon and evening.